Right, the capital letters I'm just going to do in one video. By the time you've done the minuscules, then the majuscules should present no particular problem. So we're going to start off, um, let's just put my ink somewhere where I can get to it and I can move the paper around. There we are. Let's start out with an A. Now there are two ways of doing a letter A. Let's firstly do a small I for reference. There's our little I. In A, we can go up, down, up again, loop, and away. So that's one way of doing the letter A. The other way is simply to do a great big ordinary A. Like that. A, I. Okay. So that's it two ways of doing the letter A, a huge A and an A like that. The letter B, um, there are two ways of doing letter B. The simplest way is simply this. We go up and then down and then we pick our pen up and we do a loop and then a bigger loop like so. The other way of doing it is a bit more complicated. And that is like so. We loop down, we come in, we do our big loop, and our small loop. And that's all done in one go. That B is uh, a variation of a letter L. If you can see, it's got a big pound sign there in the middle and then the pound sign just keeps going. So that's B. The letter C is pretty straightforward. We come up, we loop round, and we curve in. That's our C. D is um, not hard. It's like a pound sign. So we have a pound sign, come round, curve, and in. Whoops, that's a bit rough, but there's our D. Right? D, E, also quite straightforward. Starts up here, right? Loops, another loop, and away. That's the E. F, there are various ways of doing it. But the simplest way is up, narrow, narrow, I mean, a, 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 a shallow um, loop, and then like that, and then the cross here. That's our F. Um, G, loop, so it's like an L, come down, up, and then it's like a J. So it's basically an L and a J. And that gives us our G. H. There's a simple way of doing an H and a more complicated way of doing an H. So our simple H is simply up, down, pen up, down, loop that touches, and away. That's a, the simplest H. And the more complicated H starts here, up, down, up, down, and away. So there are two H's. I, the main thing important about the I is that the top of it has to be sharp. So I, across, up, sharp, down, and there we have an I. J, very similar, but it's longer. Up, there, sharp on top, down, and away. That's our J. K, there's a simple K, and you guessed it, a more complicated K. Our simple K is simply up, down, pick the pen up, and then loop. Right. More complicated K, follow this slowly. We go down, we go up, come back, we loop underneath, and away. Right. That's our more complex K. L is just a pound sign from the Latin word 
Librum L. M, there are two M's. There's the standard M, which is a big, great, big M. Nothing surprising there. There's that one. So it's a small M, but bigger. Or there is this M, which I prefer, which is up, down, up, down, and away. M. N. There's there are two versions of N. You guessed it. There's just a great big N. Like so. Or there's the N that I usually use, which is up, down, up, and away. Like so. O. There's only one O. And it's just a big O. Like that. Little loop on top. P. There are two ways of doing it. One is come up, down, pick a pen up, and do a loop like so. The other way of doing the P. Um, hmm. Actually, no, I'm not going to teach you the other way. We'll just do that one. P. Q. There are two Qs. One of them is an O. Do so we do an O? The same O as always with that, and then we do that. That's one Q. And the other Q, well, Google's going to complain about my video being shaky and going to ask people to correct it. The other Q, you start down here, you come up, come down, loop, and away. Much more elegant. Be Q. R is up, down, pick up your pen in, loop, and away. S, straight forward, up, loop, down, that's your S. T is the same as an F, just like that, without the cross. T. U is just a big U. Right, there's our U, great big U. V, um, you have two versions of V. You have a big V like that, or the V that I usually use, which is that. W applies the same. You have the two versions of W. You have the rounded W, or you have the sharp W. X is just as simply, uh, I should have moved this up. Did you see any of that? I'll have to look at the video afterwards. I think I'll just redo these in case you didn't see them. So, um, how frustrating. T is like that. U, as you can see, is a big U. V, a big V, or a light V, W, W. There's nothing surprising here at all. X is simply a big X. Y is simply a big Y. And Z is simply a great big Z. Or you can do a Z like that. So these are our majuscules, our capital letters.